Do you like cleaning? Hi there, I'm Natty Anderson, and you're listening to Unlocked, your daily key to unlocking God's Word in your life. About a month ago, I had my two besties over, and one of them and I ran to the grocery store since we had some time to kill before the other one showed up. So she asked, as she always does, if we could go to the cleaning aisle. And while we stood there, we compared scrubbies and toilet cleaners, and she asked me if she could clean anything at my parents' house. She really loves to clean. And this is something that we don't necessarily share. I mean, I like dishes, but that's about it. And so today we'll be talking about one kind of cleaning that you and I, we all have to do every day. Our Devo is called Dusty Spots by A.W. Smith. Have you ever finished cleaning a room only to notice the sun shining on a dusty spot you missed? In our Christian lives, the same thing happens in our hearts. Often we don't even notice our own sin. But through God's word, through our prayer times, through our times at church, or through something else, Jesus continues to show us forgotten places in our hearts where we are struggling to love God and our neighbors well. Think about it this way. Jesus is the light, and in his mercy, he shines on us, showing us sin in our lives that he wants to clean away. It can be unsettling to realize we have sin in our lives that we weren't even aware of, but we can trust that whenever God brings an area of sin to light, it's because he wants to help us and bring renewal to that messy place. As 1 John 1.9 says, If we confess our sins to him, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all wickedness. Like a dust rag cleans dust off a forgotten table, Jesus cleans away our sin. And this good news is multifaceted. Through Jesus' death and resurrection, he frees us from both the result of sin, which is death, and also from the power of sin. That means once we put our trust in Jesus, we can know that all our sins are forgiven, past, present, and future. And because the Holy Spirit is living inside us, we don't have to give in to the temptation to sin anymore. The Holy Spirit empowers us to say no to sin and live in God's good ways instead. And even though we'll never do this perfectly until Jesus returns, His forgiveness remains sure. Has something you've done that's wrong been made visible to you by Jesus recently? We all sin every day, and that's why he invites us to confess our sins to him often, resting in his sure forgiveness. Then we can live by the light of his spirit, trusting him to help us do what's right. We can live in love toward God and our neighbors because of Jesus. So let's talk about this a little bit more together. Where in your life do you struggle to truly love God and your neighbors? Jesus invites us to talk to him about this. We can be totally honest with him because he knows what temptation is like and he empathizes with us. But he himself never sinned, so he can help us. He reminds us how much he loves us and he often reveals underlying lies we're believing that might be causing a struggle to continue. Lies about God, ourselves, or others. Consider taking a moment to talk to Jesus about whatever comes to mind. As you and I can read in 1 John 1, 9, But if we confess our sins to him, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all wickedness. Now, I'd encourage you to read in your Bible, Romans 6, 11 through 14, Ephesians 5, 1 through 20, and 1 John 1, 7 through 9 to keep God's word alive in your life. Unlocked is a resource of Keys for Kids Ministries. Have you checked out the Unlocked Devo Instagram? We do monthly themes to help you grow closer to Jesus. Our handle is Unlocked Devo. Also, be sure to check back for tomorrow's devotional about the greatest artist with Dylan. But until then, I'm Natty, encouraging you to live life unlocked, opening the door to God in your life.